Hey there guys, welcome back to another ration review. I know it's been a while, but I'm back. And today we have a really cool ration. We have a Latvian military field ration. Now these are eight hour rations. These are pretty cool. Very good quality rations. Some of the best out there, I would say, from what I know. So let's check it out. All right, let's check this thing out. And as you can already tell, it comes in this really thin plastic bag. Um, I would say about the same size as a standard MRE. You have a sticker as the label, and this is field ration number two. And the menu is meat with pasta. You also have a list of all the components, all the kcals and all that good stuff. It also gives you some instructions, but um, yeah, it's pretty much it. Very simple design, but yeah, let's open it up. And I got these on eBay from a seller called Genuine Army Rations. I actually bought a few of these and they got to me in about a week or less. So that's pretty fast from, you know, somewhere overseas. Definitely a good seller, so I'll link them down below so you can check them out. All right, so let's open it up. Let's see what we got. There's no turnout, so just gonna have to bust right into it. And just like that, we're in. Let's pull some things out. Looks like we have some candy and these are Bon Bonita mints. Also says caramel. We'll check those out. All right, so we have a rice porridge with red crushed paprika. Sounds very interesting. All right, we have the main entree and this would be the meat with pasta. Not sure how to pronounce that, but um, yeah, got a nice Hefty can. All right, we have a package of cashews and raisins. We've got the famous Latvian rye bread. Very dense, like those. Got an accessory pack. See what's in it. We've got our spoon. A little bit on the flimsy side, but not too bad. I've seen worse. And here's one of the main reasons I like these Latvian rations. You get a ton of coffee. We have one, two, three, four, five. So it's very cool. Plenty left over. And we get these nice packets of sugar, 20 grams. Very impressive. We've got what appears to be a moist toilet. And we've got some tea, of course, and this appears to be some type of berry flavor. Check this out. We have a Turbo Extreme Soft Bubble Gum. Very neat. <laughs> we've got a Latvian stove, which we won't be using because Stuff stinks, but I've got some Espet tablets. I've got some of these rooster matches. Brown tips. I've got some instructions and the stove. Check this out right now. Might as well. There you have it. Put your tablet in there, light it up. And you get a rubber band. Not sure what that is for, but Still kind of neat. We've got a nice little treasure. We have some black currant jam. Stuff has to be great. And we get an apricot jam. That's it. 
there you have the entire contents of the Latvian eight hour field ration. And I gotta say, it's very impressive. We have a mains, we have some porridge, we have some bread and some jam, a bunch of coffee and some little snacks. So this is a very well put together ration. I can already tell there's plenty here for an eight hour period. No doubt about that. So let's get right to it. Let's begin. As usual, let's start with the drinks. We've got the coffee and that fruit tea, whatever that is. So I guess we'll start with the tea. It's a little bit stuck. There it is. It smells really good. It smells like berries. We're gonna add a little bit of sugar. And we'll let that steep. Let's move on to the coffee. And we've got the Nescafe Classic, Classic Roast. Again, we'll add some sugar. Then we'll give it a stir. Oh, that smells fantastic. Nice coffee shop smell. All right, so we're gonna clean this up. All right, so let's check out that porridge. Got a nice little bowl. So basically, put in a bowl, add some hot water, stir it, cover it for about eight minutes, and enjoy. Let's check this out. That's what it looks like. So we need 100 mils of boiling water. So we need about three and a half ounces, something like that. I guess that's about right. Give it a little stir. Cover it up and we'll come back to it. In the meantime, let's check on our drinks. Pull out the tea bag, nice little squeeze. Let's check out the tea. It smells really good, it looks really great. Here we go. Mm. Oh, wow. That tea is fantastic. Very nice berry flavor. A little bit of sweetness from that sugar. Overall, it's a really good quality tea. Let's check out this coffee. Nice classic roast. Here we go. Oh, yeah. You really can't go wrong with a Nescafe classic roast. Very nice, bold roast flavor, a little bit of sweetness from the sugar. Overall, it's excellent. All right, so we're still waiting on our porridge, so. In the meantime,
some, we're gonna heat up our mains. Pop it open. Ooh. Check that out. All right, so just gonna boil it a little bit. Get it nice and hot. So let's check out our porridge. It's nicely rehydrated. Not much of a smell to it. Let's, um, let's have a taste. There you can see all the spices and what appears to be chili or what the packaging says, paprika. Here we go. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow, it's a little bit different. Definitely has a little bit of an onion flavor. Not getting much of that paprika or chili flavor but it's a little bit salty it's definitely tastes and looks like rice so I assume that's what that is mmm it's very tasty but I'm not getting much flavor just a little bit of that onion the texture is just perfect it's not soggy or mushy. It's not overly uh, crunchy. It's, I would say, just about right. This is definitely a nice little snack to get the day started. Mm. I'm gonna cover this up. bit noisy <laughs> but yeah the porridge was interesting to say the least I really like the texture flavors a little bit salty a little bit on the savory side overall there wasn't that much flavor just a little bit of onion a little bit of uh, maybe chili flavor couldn't really tell but overall it's not a bad dish it's the perfect little meal to get the day started so not bad let's wash it down this tea is fantastic Mm. That's really good. So let's move along. See what else we got. Let's check out these cashews and raisins. What could possibly go wrong with raisins and cashews? Here we go. Mm. The raisins are perfect, nice and sweet. Those raisins are almost too sweet, but can't complain. Here we have the cashews, there we go. The cashews are good. They don't appear to be roasted, so they're a little bit on the softer side. But overall, they're still great. I could already smell the mains. 
that beef smells fantastic. We're gonna give that a few more minutes. So let's move on, let's check out this rye bread. It's nice and dense, a little bit firm. Gotta break out our knife. Any long time sticky fingers viewers know about this knife, so I'll let you guys research. <laughs> bread smells really nice it's got almost like a sweetness to it so if we can break it in half I need this knife to help us out There's our rye bread. Guess we'll try a piece. Here we go. Mmm. Oh wow. This rye bread is excellent. Really nice rye flavor. Texture is just perfect, a little bit chewy, but not too much. Mmm. Oh, wow. There's like a slight bitterness, slight sweetness to it. Almost like it's fermented, but I can't complain. It's amazing. Mmm. That rye bread is just excellent. The flavor is spot on. It's got a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of tanginess. The texture is just perfect. Not too soft, not too firm. Very moist, very, very good. I gotta say that gives the German rye bread a run for its money. Just gotta throw it out there. Let's check out the apricot jam. color to it. Let's try it out. It's a little bit sweet, very mild flavor, nothing overpowering, nothing too much. Let's get some on our bread. rye bread here we go wow that is an excellent combination really brings out that fermented flavor with that rye bread adds more sweetness to it just an overall excellent package so that's really great let's check out this um black currant jam see what it's all about Have a little taste. Mm. Very natural flavor, a little bit tangy, a little bit sweet. Overall, very excellent. Slap it on our rye bread. You can see some of the crushed black currant berries. Very nice color. Here we go. Again, that goes really well with the rye bread. Gives it that added flavor, that added sweetness. Yeah, it's perfect. Our beef is boiling, so we're gonna turn this off.
gave my bow a little rinse. So we're gonna try to get that mains in that bowl, see what kind of luck we have. There you have it, nice and clean, no burn marks. That's why I boil it with water. There we have our mains. You can see the nice big chunks of beef. There you have the noodles. Very interesting dish. And you can see all that separated fat. You can see little bits of carrots, onions, and like I said, a ton of beef. So let's dig in. Let's grab a nice bite. Check out those noodles. Here we go. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. That explosion of flavor is just out of this world. Just gonna soak some of this bread in that fat and soak up some of that flavor. This beef is just so tender, so juicy. You can definitely tell it was very slowly cooked. Mmm. Oh wow. It's just so flavorful, so tender, so juicy. Those noodles really add to it. See all that fat soaked into the bread. What an excellent dish. This is unreal. Mm. I guess what I'm trying to say is you don't get rations like this in the US. There's no MRE menu that could come close to this. Maybe the beef brisket but that's a long stretch. These Latvian menus are just excellent. The quality is just, you know, out of this world. Better than Russian Toshanka, better than the Lithuanian rations. That is amazing. I can't stress that enough. I guess you have to try it for yourself, but just the juiciness of that meat and combined with those noodles, it's just the perfect combination. Really well seasoned. It's not lacking anything. Just a really fine beef flavor to it. Just this entree alone is a 10 out of 10. There's no dispute about that. So I'm just going to keep going until it's all gone. It's just so amazing. Mm. This is perfect for those cold nights, for those um, really bone chilling winters. This will put all the energy back into you. Mm. Look how greasy my hands are. I'm gonna wash this down. Some of that tea got out of the tea bag, but it just floats to the bottom. I'm not gonna beat around the bush, but this has to be one of the best main entrees I've had. Mm. I want to give a huge shout out to whoever um, engineered this ration out there in Latvia. You really know what good food is. It's just a tiny bit salty. You know what? That rice porridge would have been great with this. Just a little bit on the side, but I guess we'll try that out next time. The noodles are just uh, really soft, really mushy, but goes really well with this beef. Already got my hands dirty, so. Looks like I'm gonna finish all of it. Really wished I would have saved that rice. 
but let's clean up our greasy hands. Pretty good size wipe. Smells a little bit like lemon. Yeah, pretty good towel. Hands are still a little bit greasy, but can't blame it on the towel. Just gonna finish this black current. Hmm. Yeah, we might as well finish the apricot. The last thing we have. have a bunch of mints. You can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just looks like a hard candy. Here we go. Yeah, nice and sweet. A little bit minty. Not bad. All right, so I forgot about the Turbo Extreme Soft Bubble Gum. Let's just do it real quick. There it is. Let's try it out. Mm. It's just your regular bubble gum, um, a little bit sweet, very soft, but check this out. <laughs> we have a Mercedes Vision AMG Gran Turismo. This one is number 47. Motor engine is a 5700. It's got 585 horsepower. Max speed is 310. It's very impressive but yeah very nice very cool gum like I said it's just regular gum uh, no added flavor just a little bit sweet all right guys I hope you enjoyed the video this was the Latvian field ration menu number two this has to be one of the greatest rations I've ever had excellent quality very similar to the Lithuanian rations I mean you know their neighboring countries so they do share a lot of similarities but also a lot of differences so that being said on a scale from 1 to 10 i would have to give this ration a 9.5 out of 10 excellent quality it's not really lacking anything just a overall perfect ration a nice little treat so if you want to get your hands on one make sure you check out genuine army rations i'll link his ebay store down below so make sure you check them out excellent service excellent sellers so i highly recommend them very fast shipping as well so don't miss out on that and i got a few things lined up i've got a few more rations to review so make sure you stay tuned for that and i got a surprise package from my buddy out there in germany jorg he's a long time viewer and he sent me a ration to review i can't wait to show you guys what it is but you'll have to stay tuned for that i also want to thank my patrons for their support they helped me buy these rations i have a few more of them to review so thanks a lot to my patrons but yeah thanks a lot